In this video, we will cover a massive twin rotor floating wind turbine created by Mingyang Smart Energy. This innovative solution is so stable that it has the capability of harnessing energy from hurricanes. Mingyang Wind Power is the largest private wind turbine manufacturer in China. In fact, in 2022, it produced what was the largest wind turbine in the world at the time, the MYSC-16242 offshore wind turbine. This wind turbine was designed to harness 16 megawatts of wind power and it has been successfully operating since 2023. This behemoth wind turbine has a 242 meter diameter rotor with 118 meter long blades and a 46,000 square meter swept area, equivalent to more than six football fields. Building on this experience, Mingyang Wind Energy has now produced a floating wind energy plant that has not one but two units of 8.3 megawatt turbines giving it a combined energy of 16.6 megawatts, thus breaking its own record. It's expected to produce around 54,000 megawatt hours of electricity annually, enough to power around 30,000 Chinese households or about 5,150 American households. The model is MYSE 16.6T and has been named Ocean X. It has a V-shaped configuration. The rotor diameter is 182 meters. The beauty of this unit is that the two turbines are counter-rotating and this gives it floating stability. The challenges faced by floating wind turbines include dealing with extremely high wind speeds and countering waves. They require stability to stop them from tipping over. Mooring the wind turbine to the seabed takes care of this while ballast at the bottom provides a counterweight to dampen vibration and lower the center of gravity. Mooring, however, comes at a huge cost. There is also the issue of dynamic stability of the wind turbine when in operation. The higher the instability, the greater the number of mooring lines required. The twin-headed floating platform Ocean X is inherently stable as the counter-rotating turbines cancel out the reaction torque generated by the rotating blades. It is for this reason this platform just requires high-performance concrete and single mooring, thereby reducing the cost of installation and maintenance substantially. It can operate in waters more than 35 meters deep, giving this giant device access to the best offshore wind resources. A 1s to 10 prototype of the two-headed turbine platform was trialed in Germany nearly four years ago with operations in the Baltic Sea also part of the test. The full-scale turbine is built to withstand Category 5 hurricane conditions in winds of up to 161 miles per hour. And not simply just withstand those conditions, but to turn into the howling wind and continue producing electricity while riding waves as high as 98 feet or 30 meters. It's rated at 0.135 turbulence intensity, which is relatively high for an offshore site. As now most of the onshore sites that are viable for wind turbine have been utilized, wind energy is pushing towards offshore sites. Once the challenges of installing offshore are overcome, the rewards are much higher. That is, larger wind turbines can be made that have access to more consistent winds at relatively low turbulence levels. Note that there is another contra-rotating wind turbine that is being developed by a Norwegian engineering company called Worldwide Wind. Their concept is, however, a contra-rotating vertical turbine, or CRTV. If these twin rotors are able to operate successfully, then this would change the shape of offshore wind turbines in the future. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.